Okay, now what's the first thing you do when you want to open a bottle of bubbly? And why don't we call this champagne, by the way? Because it's not from the Champagne region of France. End of story. This is made méthode traditionnelle. Used to be méthode champenoise until they got rid of the verbiage. Uh, it is made exactly the same way that champagne is made. They use a little different grape variety in here, but, but, it, but they make it the same. So the first thing you have to do is get rid of this thing. And you can take your time, you can cut it off, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I just try to rip it off as best as best you can. You can, do no, you can do no harm with doing any of that. The only thing you don't want to do is to shake the bottle, uh, like I'm doing. Um, now what do you do? You take this thing off, right? Right. Okay. Uh, careful, please. Please. Inside this bottle is three times the amount of air pressure that you have in your car tires. Okay, and when they first started making champagne, the bottles weren't thick enough and the bottles were just exploding all over the place. And it wasn't, they, they really couldn't make it commercially until they actually had the bottles thick enough to, to be able to handle. So, you take this thing off and you do this twist and it should be five twists. Keep your hand on here. And when you remove the cage, get your hand back on there quick. Okay? If you've shaken this bottle, this cork will come flying out of that bottle at you. Don't ever, don't ever look over the top and open it because if that if that cork comes out, you're you're in a world of hurt. Okay, now that we have the, the cork and now we have the bottle, and I haven't shaken it too much. <laughs> now what do you now what do you do? You turn the cork yeah, backwards. Turn the cork backwards. Okay. Turn what, the bottle, not the cork. Turn the bottle, not the cork. Anybody else have a just put your thumbs under and just let it go pop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, now that's a festive way to do it. Shake it first. Unfortu yeah, unfortunately, you lose you lose a yeah, bit of champagne right. by doing that, and you lose a lot of bubbles. Okay. So that that that, that uh, you want to be festive, that's fine. Um, but turning the bottle, not the cork, is the correct answer. Not mm. turning this backwards. You know, it, it's hard to turn the cork. It is. So just hold it. Hold it at like about so 45 degrees or so. Slowly turn the bottle, holding that cork in there. Now, as you get to the end, there's a lot of pressure. Now, everybody's quiet. That should be all you hear. Wow. 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 Right. Never knew that. Never knew that. That should be all you hear. And, yeah, and you know what I should also tell all of you? He's telling you the right way. We have a few holes in the ceiling. Um, <laughs> where he's, you know, now, I'm, 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 no, he's popped it. I'm going to pass this cork around while we're talking and, and tasting here. Okay. Uh, take a look at it. Other than the shape and the size, see if you can figure out what's different about this cork than that cork. Oh, well, other than the shape. Other than the shape. And the size. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to taste this before we do much of anything else because we don't want to lose we don't want to lose the bubbles. Uh, and as soon as Kath finishes pouring, uh, we'll do that. Uh, take your time. Take your time. Other than the shape, you said, and the yes. size. Yes. Is it made from a slightly different material? Uh, it might be. Okay. But it's cork. It, it is cork, but it has slightly. It might in. be. Um, and we'll talk later about how the bubbles get in the bottle and all of that stuff. Um, so you don't want the pop. Well, yeah. it, 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 you can. For, for the, you for can. saving the bubbles. See, it, it's Should so, it? It, no. yeah, to, pre to preserve the bubbles and the wine, you don't want, you don't want the pop. Hand me that glass. Hey, thanks a lot. I'll hand it back. And how about the pouring? Get a little food or... Yeah. Uh, the best... The best vehicle for a, uh, a, a, a sparkling wine uh, is a flute. What you want to do, and you want a flute. Okay, not like still water. You, okay, because I'll pour some more because you lose your bubble. See, having it in a glass like that is, 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 is awful. Yeah, we're uh, right out of glasses. Yep, yep, and the reason is, the reason is, is because the bubbles just go. go. They disappear in space. Um, what you want is a flute. Start, start and tasting. you want... The, the opening at the top narrower than the bottom, narrower than, than the center, because you want you want everything funneled funneled up. You don't want 
a tulip shaped mm. flute because the same reason for that is the bubbles just disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, first thing you, you want to do, you taste, hard. You, taste uh, you, bubbles, you taste sparkling wines exactly the way you taste regular wine. First thing you do is look at it. Yeah. And you want to make sure, make sure you guys again, for those who haven't, like, everyone's been here before? It looks like no, we're okay. Uh, okay. The first thing that you want to do is hold it against a white background, <clears throat> and you want to be able to see through it. You want to make sure it's not cloudy, not murky, and this here is just brilliant. It's a beautiful lemony color, uh, nice, and, nice and bright. So uh, at least you can tell yourself it hasn't been stored improperly. The next thing you want to do is to smell it. Oh, well, in the case of in the case of sparkling wine, take a look at the bubbles. Um, and you should also be able to see those through here. They can mm -hmm. use it against the white background of yeah. the hand. Yeah, yeah. So um, the finer the bubbles, the better quality the, the champagne or sparkling the finer wine. The, bubbles. the finer the bubbles, okay. and you should get a steady stream from the from the center bottom all the way up all the way up to the top. And something I found out a couple of weeks ago that I didn't even know is in no. is in real flutes. Thank you. Real champagne flutes that are really top quality. If you ever look down into the glass, at the very bottom, there's actually a little indentation in the bottom of the glass. And it's that indentation that makes the bubbles go straight up. Uh, it was really, really pretty fascinating. Uh, now we want to smell it. What do we smell? Again, we'll talk about we'll talk about what we do with that. Uh, let's taste it. It's restrained. Make sure you put it on all sections of your mouth for all wine. Don't be afraid to rinse your mouth out, please. Um, you heard me gurgle a little bit in here. All that is is is, is sucking in air over the wine that's in my mouth. It accomplishes the same thing no, well, that that does. But don't t don't do it for champagne because you'll lose the bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what it, it aerates the wine. I don't see a lot of bubbles coming up from the bottom. Yeah. Now there's a couple of reasons oh, for that. Right. A couple of reasons for that. Uh, number one is these glasses aren't 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 the best for for that purpose. But when you're home and you have champagne glasses, don't ever wash them in soap. Only hot water. If you do wash it in soap, you gotta rinse them until there's no more rinsing left. You've gotta remove every bit of soap film from the inside of the glass because if you don't, as soon as the bubbles go in, the bubbles disappear. But but you do have to use soap if we women who have lipstick mm -hmm. on and so on, you do have to use soap. But, around but, the top. You, but, but what I do is when I'm done, I, I'll put them in the dishwasher just on the heat drying cycle because it sterilizes after I've washed the rims and everything else. So you do have to have it sterilized. But you need them, and it's the same with regular wine glasses. Just, because you don't want, you don't want the film, you don't want the smell. Mm 